Montana is known for its clean and abundant lakes and rivers. The plant communities that border these rivers and lakes are called riparian areas. Riparian areas provide habitat to fish and wildlife. They help filter runoff and provide shade to protect and maintain clean, cold water. These areas are key to a healthy landscape and vital to our local economy. As Montana grows, loss of riparian areas due to development threatens the landscape we know and love. Our riparian areas are too important to lose. They not only are uh, incredibly important for our cold water fish, birds, and uh, other wildlife, but they perform less visible, critical functions. Protecting riparian areas from development is the first best step we can take. Together, private landowners and conservation partners have worked to protect our critical lands, preserving over 5,000 acres along the Flathead River. As a landowner, we can do our part by protecting riparian areas on our property and restoring native trees and shrubs that have been lost. Ashley Creek, for instance, can no longer support a healthy environment for fish and other aquatic life due to high water temperatures in the summer, excess fine sediment and nutrients, all attributable to degraded riparian habitat. In 1964, we had that flood here, and it took a bridge out over there. And so after 64, there has never been any cattle across the creek over here. So if you look at the difference between here and across the creek, all the vegetation over there uh, showed me something. So when, when you guys, Flatted Lakers and all this, talked about this program, I, I was interested. The reason I did it, it restored is I heard a lot about Astley Creek needing to be upgraded. It's, it's a body of water that is challenged, quite frankly, with, with, with them in uh, development and so on. And so I felt that uh, my little part of maybe doing about three quarters of a mile, getting the water cooler and help cool the water and this type of thing would be the reason I did it. Keeping riparian areas healthy and restoring those that have been impacted will have a lasting positive outcome on the rivers and lakes we cherish. Healthy riparian habitats are very important for biodiversity, both for plants, but also for wildlife and insects and amphibians. They also protect aquatic fish habitat for native fish. And they're important because everything along a river system is connected. So everything that we do upstream affects the people and the animals and the plants that live downstream. Healthy riparian forests are important because uh, the trees have a deeper root system and they help intercept the pollutants that come out of fields and urban areas better than what uh, grasses, lawns, herbaceous vegetation would do. We are part of a large connected landscape. What we do in one place sends ripples downstream. As a landowner, you can help to ensure our lakes and rivers stay healthy and beautiful for generations to come. Some steps that protect and improve riparian health are removing primary impacts like excessive grazing, preventing floodplain development, maintaining septic systems, and avoiding over-fertilizing of lawns. But a river really does run through it. It's the one thing that connects us all. Uh, a raindrop that falls miles from here eventually ends up in our waterways. And that water is vitally important to all of us from a standpoint of recreation, our economy, uh, you name it. Water's our lifeblood in this valley and everywhere. And so uh, the River Lake Initiative and the River Steward Program has been a collaboration uh, where we are really trying to leverage um, both the expertise and resources of all the folks, state agencies, private citizens, land conservation organizations that are trying to help protect, preserve the way of life here in the Flathead. And so by combining those resources, our expertise, we work out and reach out to landowners to help them see if there's ways that we can improve the stewardship of their property so they can meet their objectives, pass on something that's meaningful to the next generation. River Steward program partners include Flathead Lakers, Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks, Flathead Conservation District, the Natural Resources and Conservation Service, and many private landowners. By collaborating among many groups, we have increased our local capacity to do restoration projects, helping landowners with planting and maintenance and monitoring our projects for several years to learn what works best locally. Often, we give riparian areas a boost by planting trees and shrubs 
and temporarily protecting them from deer browse to jumpstart their development. In some instances, we take additional steps to protect young plants from vole damage. Another simple technique we use is live staking willows. Using a water jet stinger, we can quickly plant willow stakes that will grow and shade the streams and send down roots that will stabilize our banks. Once a landowner decides to take action, it can definitely be difficult to know where to start, who to reach out to, or what they can do. The River Steward Program is a collaborative of local, state, and federal organizations, and we're here to help you navigate the process. This is our home, and we are but temporary stewards, responsible for passing it down to future generations in a condition as beautiful and amazing as it is today. It takes a community working together to restore a stream. To find out how you can get involved as a landowner or a volunteer, call or email us at flatheadriversteward at gmail.com.